Hey guys, Wyatt here from Chaos and Grace, and today I'm going to show you how our garden is going. Unfortunately, this cherry tree was killed by the polar vortex, and we're going to be replacing this one pretty soon. This one's doing great. It had a few bugs on it, so we put DE on it, and it's doing a lot better. If you remember in a past video, this blueberry bush was dying, and as you can see now, there's a lot of new growth, and it looks like it's just doing, it's doing just fine now. Our new blueberry plants from Aldi have been struggling a little bit, and we think it's due to all the crazy spring weather, but they should be fine in another year or so. This flower bed is my favorite. We have some lever, lemon verbena climbing up the side of the bed, some onion chives, and our herbs here are doing it pretty good. Unfortunately, my mom forgot to water the raised beds because she's so used to wood chips. Yeah, it's true, I know. Um, <laughs> these, what are they called? St. John's wort. St. John's wort are a little dehydrated, and unfortunately, these plants, they've been being attacked by bugs for quite a while. But we'll treat this. Yep. We'll get some DE in here and it'll be just fine. Yep. Well, I've got a name. You've got a name. Here's name. The cucumbers are looking great, despite the fact that some annoying squirrels kept digging them up so we had to relocate them. The nasturtiums are looking perfect. This raised bed this year has turned into kind of a hodgepodge of different things. I've got zucchini in here. We've got a goji berry plant that I thought for sure was dead, but it is coming back. So I'm excited to see what happens with this little guy because it's looking really, really good. I have a whole bunch of onions in here. We've had probably the worst squirrel problem this year, beating any other year. I planted a row of calendula along the edge here, and I've got one here, one here that looks like something has been eating it, one over there, one right there. The rest of it didn't pop up or got eaten, I don't even know, but it's all mixed up now. But it's all growing and everything seems happy, so I'm just gonna let it be. I did move the zucchini. That is where I originally planted them. I ended up having some pop up in the middle of the onions and one over here. So squirrels dug in here and in here and the seeds went flying. And I did put a couple seeds in each one of these spots and I've got one plant of each, so I'm gonna assume they got eaten. Now we also have a whole bunch of carrots in here, but as you can see, they're looking pretty thin. The other stuff that you see in here, this stuff here is purslane. We let this grow because it's really good. You can eat this, it's really good in salads, but we give this mainly to our rabbits because they love it and it's great for them. Also, I believe this stuff here is called lamb's ear. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and that's great for them also. So aside from really needing to uh, weed this, because this is crazy, and needing to plant more carrots because this got dug up really, really bad by the squirrels, um, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. The things that are in here are doing really, really well. <laughs> Lost my host to more entertaining things, apparently. <laughs> Now this spring, we have had so much rain and repeated back to like winter weather. We've had so many cold snaps and so much just crazy wet weather, more so than I think we've ever had, that some of my crops that I get in a little earlier than I think most people would in my area, but I do like, you know, the little milk gallon greenhouses over this if it um, gets underneath like 45 degrees. But I get really, really cold and it stunted some of my tomatoes. And you can see like that one right there. Is it that one? No, next to it. This one was stunted and there were a handful more in here that were stunted. And I went ahead and bought some that were already started from a friend of mine that um, has a lot of organic and heirloom varieties. 
So I got some of her plants and I put them in. And then the ones that were stunted, I just kept feeding them phosphorus and they are actually doing a lot better. So it looks like I'm gonna have about 22 tomato plants in here and they look great. I'm already getting blossoms, which is wonderful because I didn't think I was gonna get these this early. I thought we'd be pretty late on this, but they're looking awesome. I've had some serious problems with thistle this year. <laughs> it's popping up everywhere, more so than it ever does. I think I've got some there, 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 and this huge one. Uh, yeah, I haven't weeded. Aside from the thistle, I really don't have a problem really with weeds. I've got a lot of violets popping up, but again, our rabbits eat them, so I just let them go. As long as they're not choking out any plants, I'm okay with them being there. It's looking like rain. Woo! I don't know if filming's gonna work today. The spinach is looking great now. We had, you can see this one's a little eaten up. We had some bugs in there. I think it was the gnats. Because of all the rain we got, the gnats have attacked things like I've never seen them attack before. So a little DE fixes that problem. It goes a long way. The cabbage, I'm not sure about. I have only four cabbages left and they're not really doing much. They haven't really gotten better or worse. They've just kind of sat. And I don't know if it's because the crazy weather or whatever is eating them is bothering them. That did get taken care of, again with DE. But no change in those. So we'll give it time. It's early yet. We'll see what happens with them. We have two kinds of kale in the garden this year. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what variety this one is. I can't remember. But we have this one and over here, red Russian kale. Brussels sprouts are a new crop for us this year. About half the people in our family really enjoy cooked Brussels sprouts. I do them up on the stove in the cast iron with some butter and seasonings. And oh my gosh, they're so good. So I put those in. While I had planned to have, oh, about 30 or so pepper plants, I just didn't go that way. We had a major problem with these guys getting stunted also. It's been a fight to get them back. Um, I keep feeding them some nitrogen because as you can see, they look a little nitrogen de deficient with the yellowing of the leaves. And I keep giving them kind of phosphorus washes. And they're getting better. The green is improving. But then again, the gnats are feasting. This one is looking wonderful and putting on quite a few flowers already. The oregano is making a comeback again this year. I planted this once and it does come back year after year and it forms runners. And because we've got mulch here, it's very happy putting off runners just underneath, hi sis, in this mulch and popping up wherever it decides to pop up. Lufa is something I had these seeds for a few years and I never did anything with them. And this year I decided, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet. There is a soap recipe that I always wanted to use with loofah, just kind of embedding it in the loofah. So I might do that this year. That would be fun. But I'll have lots of loofah. I planted, oh, probably about 10 plants and I have four popping up. I have had those seeds for a couple years, like I said. So I wasn't really expecting a whole lot, but they're looking really good. This is my huge disappointment this year. These were my Oriental yard long beans. I have, count with me, one, two, three popping up. And that's it. Of all the squirrel damage, this was the worst. But a fun little surprise. We have more watermelon coming up this year from a watermelon that rotted right here. So that's coming up amongst the scarlet runner beans. So because I have this beautiful cattle panel here, it's got great support more than last year. And I think it'll be really fun to see this. And I think they'll do really good, obviously, because I never planted those. And they're doing wonderfully. <sighs> there sits the warm towers that I still have not gotten to. One day, hopefully soon, probably not. These are our black beans this year. 
They're looking wonderful. Virtually no bug damage over here. Ooh, let me shoot back over here. If you follow on Instagram, this plant right here, this little guy, had tons of bug damage. And I did an Insta story on this and all the DE, I had a gnat infestation all through this. I mean, they were just millions of them all over this little area here. And I very heavily dusted this plant and just went down the row and put very heavy amounts of mulch to the point where you almost couldn't see the mulch. You can still see some of the white residue. Over that, the next day the gnats were gone and my plant obviously has been saved. Yay! See, it's already starting to run. I did some Tom Thumb Peas that I had left over from last year. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six plants left. Everything else has been harvested. And that pretty much made a good little snack for her. Were the peas a good snack? Yeah. Our fig trees that we started this year are doing better. They came and they had a really rough start, again, because of our weather. But they're doing much better now. But I think I'm going to wait for them to get a little healthier and a little bit bigger before I repot them and put them kind of semi in the ground and show y'all the plan that I had for them originally. But now they're doing really well and they have a lot of new growth. I'm not gonna get any figs this year. That's totally fine. I just want them to be healthy. Can you see those in there? Those raspberries? They were bigger than that. Something ate them. So I improvised. <laughs> I had a milk crate and a brick. And they have not gotten eaten anymore. Hopefully this works and they continue to thrive because they were doing great. They used to look like that one. This one is great and starting to shoot up. But I'm gonna keep it covered just to keep this one safe too. So that's it for our garden tour and update this month. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.